Hey, want to know how many types of bindings are there and how they work in Angola? After the intro. Hi everyone, this is Subhat and you, you are watching Fun of University. So let's jump into the screen. So there are mostly there are four types of binding. One is interpolation. Second one is the property binding. Third is the event binding, and one is the two-way binding. So in from since since the first video you, you saw the interpolation that Angular creates for us. I think I deleted that. Okay, in the, in, the, in the beginning of the application, Angular creates this interpolation as a title. So that is called interpolation. That's maybe you can say one way binding, whatever in your TS file that will get displayed in your HTML file or in your browser. So that is the one way binding that is denoted as two curly braces inside that the variable name. Here I'm using a variable from the HTTP service, a test variable, and using that here as this uh, HTTP is already injected in my constructor, as I explained in my previous video. If you don't know what is the service, please go ahead and watch my previous video. It will be somewhere in the card and the description as well. So you got how interpolation work and how what is that now the times are pro pro property binding so if you see here we don't have anything it as the last video so if i go ahead and comment this so what i'm doing is the property of the image is a source so this source i can bind with my variable which, which i created in the uh, component file I created an image instance variable and assigned a image URL to it so that it can be accessed here. So all the property of the HTML can be written like this and can be assigned directly to a variable. Here also you can use interpolation. I will show you in some time. So if you go here, it has an image. So here I want to show you how you can, if you don't want to use a property binding, how you can use with, with the interpolation. So you can go here and remove the braces and just add interpolation here. And this will work same as is. So what is that is, that is this image, this is in the TS file, login component TS file that is fetched and assigned here file rendering in the browser so all these things will be converted to the javascript all the typescript will convert it to javascript and that will get rendered in the browser so while it's get converted to to get converted and get rendered this image is got replaced with this url and so we able to see the image there it's referable to always use the power of angular so it will be easier for you uh, to use the variable and instance variable all in all in your property binding section now we'll check the event binding so the event binding is like that some if you are doing some prop preparing some event like click is a event on change is a event on model change in a change there are lot of lots of events i am calling a method that is called change image and that i wrote here what i am doing is I'm reassigning the image, the value of the image to a new image. So if you save this, if you can go to the browser, you have a button here. If you can click this, it will change the image. So how it's work is on click event, on a click of this button, or you can give it anywhere on a paragraph, on a H element or anything. You can give this event anything anywhere and you can call i'm calling this method here so inside that method it goes and change the value here and again as that image value get changed so in the property binding the image it's getting reflected simultaneously so that's how all binding was
So now comes the main attraction of the angular. It's a two-way binding. So this I showed you in the previous video as well, where I used the ng model to display the change of the value in the two component by using the service. So here, what it's doing is the ng model itself, if you can combine property binding and event binding together, and it's become the ng model. Suppose I put the click image here, click event here. So what is that? It has a property binding and it has event binding. Okay. As the variable is already assigned with the property that will get fetch and displayed on the screen. And the event is get triggered when when the user is click the image. So this two becomes so this two becomes a kind of two-way binding. So ng model. So sorry. So the click event it's calling the ts file and changing the value and it's got reflected in the ng model if you want to see here you can go to the and if you click here it got changed so again if i'm clicking here it's got changed so so in the ng model itself i put it in in a input file so when i will change this value the the corresponding value of the ts that's in the component so, sorry in the http service or ts it's got change and all the value all the component which is accessing this will reflect it there so you can check here instead of how are you if i can write something else you can check here it will it is changing in the both so it's it, it's in the app components as well in the so it's a two-way binding so i am changing it in html and it's also get changed in ts so i will show you now if you change it in ts is it reflecting in the html so what we will do we'll go to the change image and we'll try to replay try to change something this dot http dot test equals to changed so we'll try to see that if we we saw that if when you when you change in html it got changed in the ts as well so that it's uh, reflected in the other component now we'll see if you are changing in ts is it will it it will got change in html or not so when i hit here it's changed so it will change everywhere so that's it for today guys please hit the like button if you like it please don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon to get the videos and notification that you will be stay tuned in the knowledge process and till till the next time bye bye